Hi everyone, welcome back to another review. So today we're going to be doing David's Tea's Mango Matcha. So this is a matcha that David's Tea came out with last summer. Um, this this um, matcha came out with yuzu matcha and I think there was, oh raspberry matcha was the other one. Um, it came out during the summer. So it says, elevate your matcha ritual made with the base of finely ground energizing green tea powder, pure cane sugar, and juicy mango. This natural flavored matcha is a refreshing way to treat yourself while sipping the whole leaf benefits of green tea. Froth with milk for a green tea latte, blend with yogurt and ice for a matcha mango lassi, or add it to your next smoothie for the perfect post-workout snack. <clears throat> Ingredients are cane sugar, matcha green tea, natural mango flavoring with annatto extract. I'm not too sure what that is, but this is available now on the site for $9.98 per 50 grams. So it's a little expensive. Their matcha is just getting more and more expensive. So I don't know what's going on, but smell wise, this does smell like mango and you also can smell the green tea. Um, I did have a little bit to use up from Destiny. She sent some in to um, have reviewed, so I'm just using up her little baggie that she had i made it into an iced latte this morning in my uh christmas tumbler this came out last year i want to say so i have that or i think a couple years ago now yeah i think it's a couple years it's been so this matcha i have heard it being super good and i've heard it being not so good i have had this before i don't really remember it i bought 50 grams back in the summer when they released it and i don't remember liking it because i don't think i bought any more um <clears throat> i think i remember the taste being like super super like subdued and you don't even taste the mango so i've also heard from uh stephanie from tea leaf project that she had the same opinion thinking that the raspberry and both both the mango and the raspberry matches were really really subdued and you don't really taste the flavor of like whatever flavor matcha it is so you don't taste the mango you don't taste the raspberry it's mostly green tea which is perfectly fine because i'm fine with it either way but um, I do remember her saying she wishes that it was just more like bursting with flavor, which I don't know. It's been a problem with David C's matchas lately. Like I'm trying to think of another matcha that's not really bursting in flavor. Um, I can't really think of any others, but I do know that raspberry was a problem in mango. So I'm going to give it a try and see what I think. I, I don't remember it. I remember some of it, but I don't remember the full flavor when I tried it last year. Mm. yeah 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 so you do taste the green tea and then you taste the mango but it's like so subdued it's like it just rolls off your tongue like that's how light this flavoring is I don't really like it it being that light because that's the thing especially made with an iced latte you want the flavor to like burst in your face you don't want it to just roll off your tongue whereas that's what this is doing um I don't know guys I wish that they really like just added way more mango flavoring to this because it's it's just it tastes like green tea with like maybe 20% mango that's it and it doesn't even taste like mango it tastes like a nectarine or something like it tastes like like just like a, like an orange or like a, a nectarine or oh that's another one that's um David C released that the flavor is super subdued orange dreamsicle matcha that flavoring is so light you don't even taste the orange I'm just like what they should have done like an orange matcha instead of like an orange dreamsicle matcha because like the way that you make iced matcha lattes anyways is kind of like making a dreamsicle popsicle because you're adding milk and stuff to the the flavored fruit matcha so it's kind of the same thing so I think they messed up there too and have like no orange flavoring in the orange dreamsicle matcha. I have a review on that on this. Um, I've done a review on it before and I still have some upstairs actually. I bought 100 grams and uh, I'm not buying any more unless it goes on sale. So yeah, same with this one guys. This one's not that good. It's it's good, but it's like there's no flavor. Like it's so light and it's like you have to like really like smack your lips together to really taste it and like you know so i feel like an old lady whenever i do that but it's like where's the flavor <laughs> but yeah um not really a fan of this one i never bought any more of it so i'm happy that dustin brought some in to try for me to review because i haven't i've never bought it again so i haven't had the chance to review it so thank you destiny for sending this in i'm actually really appreciative because she sent in all matchas that i have not reviewed so i'm like yes so yeah, um, that was my review on mango matcha. Um, would I repurchase this tea? No. Would I stock up? No. 
Rating out of 10, the flavor is garbage. Um, it's super light, can't taste any mango, so it's like a five out of 10 for me, guys, sorry. It's like right on the middle of the scale, so. Yeah, yeah. The raspberry matcha, you do taste more flavoring. I feel the raspberry is much more prominent than the mango. Even though they're both light, the raspberry has a little bit more flavor than the mango, unfortunately. But that was my review on mango matcha. And let me know what you guys think in the comments of this tea or of this matcha. Let me know how you guys prepare it. Maybe I'm preparing it wrong. But um, yeah, I just find there's no flavoring. So not really a fan of this one. Sorry, guys. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching my review on David C's mango matcha.